Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be building a cool text to wheel animation with just CSS and no GSAP. So here is what it looks. So when I refresh the page, the thunder icon basically appears from underneath and then it moves towards right. And as it moves, there's some text that also reveals itself. So it looks really clean. Now, not obviously every time we need to use GSAP to build animations like these. So we could obviously use simple CSS to get it done. Let's get started and let's see how to build this. The source code is down in the description, so make sure to check that out. And without any delay, let's learn how to build it. So here we are in our index.html file where we have given a title, then added the Arbitron font family link and also our style.css file. Now, this is generated using the exclamation and we've hit enter to get the boilerplate and then have added these links as well as changed the title a bit. Now we're going to start off inside our body. We're going to create a container and then we're going to add the text quick and fast. We'll add the wipe. Now this wipe has the icon container. Now this icon container is essential because we also want to have the icon have a reveal animation. So this would basically be the container for that. And then we have the icon div, which has the SVG of the icon. Now, if we save, you see that we have quick and fast and that's it. Now in the CSS, since it's empty, we would just add a few CSS lines. So we'd start off with body, would give it font family of Arbitron and then add everything at the center using the split grid and place con to center. And then we'd give it a height of 100 viewport height and margin zero and then the background color to be a bit dark not entirely black but then more towards the shade of black and then we'd start with a container would give it a position relative so that we can add the wipe absolutely and then we would set the overflow to hidden so that everything is contained at the center and then and then everything doesn't flow outside since we're going to give it a width of 350 pixels then we have the h1 which we're going to give some font size, white space to no wrap since we don't want the text to wrap, the color, and then also some letter spacing. And then we'd start off with the wipe animation. Now this wipe has the position of absolute as we've set. And then the top right and then width and height gives it so that we can have the animation start from the left and then go towards right instead of inside zero, which would make it have entirely complete width and height but then the issue would be the animation would start from the right to left and not from left to right, which we want to happen. And then we'd have the background color same as the body since we want this to cover the text, which is the H1. So initially the text would be covered by the wipe and then as it goes on, so basically would shrink the width of the wipe to match the icons width so that at the end it appears so that the icon is at the right side and then the text kind of wipes in and then appears on the screen. And then we'd have the animation wipe one seconds ease in out and then forwards. And then we'd have an animation delay of one seconds because we'd have one second to reveal our thunder icon and then we can use the wipe animation after that. And then we'd style the icon container to have width of 58 pixels and height 100%. Now this 58 is basically 10 more pixels extra than the width and height of the icon. And then we'd also give it this display grid and place everything in the center and then also would remove any overflow. And then the icon would have the same height as the SVG, which is width and height 48 pixels. And then this would have the animation reveal, which is one seconds is out. Now this one seconds is what the time would need for this to animate to basically fade in up. And then after one second pass it by, we can then start with a wipe animation. And then after this is done, we can have the SVG style to have stroke width of one and then have the animation of that subtle neon glowing effect, the blinking effect that we have run for one seconds, ease in out infinite, and then we can start off with our keyframes. Now this wipe would start off with 0% and 100%. The 0% would have width to 100% because initially it would have the complete width so that it covers the entire text. 
but as time passes by this would only need to take the width as a, for the icon which is 58 pixels and then for the second would be we have the reveal which is we have the initial would have the translate y which is basically initially the the thunder icon would be beneath somewhere outside of the box and then when it's complete it basically comes into the surface to its original place which is translate y to zero and then we'll have the last neon effect which is basically zero and 100 percent so basically initially and the end we'd want the animation to stay the same and then when it is 50 percent we'd want the animation to be different so basically we have this filter drop shadow and then the stroke now this drop shadow here would add zero zero and zero pixels and then would add this shade of color and then the stroke would also be same but then when it is 50 percent would have the complete color of turquoise sort of and then would have the stroke same as this now if we save we get this effect let's refresh And that's it guys, hope you learned how to build a quick, sleek, kind of like a loader or maybe a text reveal animation for your website. Make sure to check the source code down in the description and like the video if you liked it and share this with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn the notification bell to remain notified whenever I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it. Meet you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye.